This is Lex Van Dam, a man who's about to make the biggest gamble of his life. He's bet $1 million of his own money that he can turn eight ordinary men and women into successful city traders. What I want to do is like, I want to take people who have no previous trading experience and teach them how to trade. I want to give them all the tools that I think are necessary to do this. Then I will give them some of my money and I want to make sure that they make some more money. A top fund manager, he's going to set up the world's first hedge fund, staffed only by complete beginners. With some training, guidance and the promise of each being rewarded with a city-sized bonus at the end, they're all hoping for success. If they make money, it'd be great. No stress. And if they lose money, then there will be stress. From all walks of life, these novice traders have two months to show they can make it in the city. I've locked in a hundred pounds. Whee! Yes. But what none of them realize is just how hard it's going to be. I've seen really mentally strong people become psychologically destroyed by the world of trade. What a nightmare. Because in this game, every decision counts. Ah, it's just open, 726. What if it's at seven quid in an hour? You're gonna sell them there? Yes. Right, well, if you're gonna sell them at seven quid in an hour, sell them at 726 now. Think about what you're saying. It's unbelievable. <sighs> I don't really know what I'm doing. As if it wasn't hard enough, they will have to play this game as the global markets plunge into the abyss. 900 quid, like that. As the pressure mounts, will everyone make it to the end? It doesn't matter anymore, you've had your chance. You cannot let emotions get in the way. If you get upset, then this is your last week. Okay. I'm taking a huge risk here, and if they don't care enough, then I'll make sure they care. Can the beginners become profit-making machines? Or will the cost of success be too high for their liking and send this million dollar gamble into free fall? There's a fine line when it comes to being human beings, yeah? And now you see other people in the room responding to that, city or no city. of his own money at stake, Lex Van Dam alone will choose the novice traders. It has to be like a diverse group of people. But we do need people who, who are able to work very hard and who are able to cope with a certain level of stress. After 16 years as a successful trader, he knows exactly what he's looking for. To qualify for a place, the applicants only need two qualities the ability to handle stress and be good at maths. What is 32 times 32? 32 times 32. Uh, 9... 904? 1, 1, What's the most pressure you've ever been under? I thrive under pressure, actually. What is 32 times 32? Oh, my brain is just not functioning. Oh, sorry. 9,942. Would you screw someone over to get ahead? No, never. I wouldn't like to, but if I had to, I would do. Whilst thousands applied, there are only eight places. What is 32 times 32? The first to impress um, Lex and secure a spot... 1,024. ...is 36-year-old retired soldier Mike Tavell. I'm a good bet. Um, I've... I've got a lot of, a lot of good skills. Um, and I, I'm raw talent. After 13 years in the parachute regiment, Mike reached the rank of Major before retiring to live in Jersey. I'd been thinking about leaving the Army every day since, you know, about 1996. <laughs> you know, I'd done a long stint in Afghanistan, and I just thought, you know, 
can I, can I do this again? I've maybe had my time of selfless commitment. Now I just want to earn some, some filthy lucre. Joining Mike are the remaining seven successful applicants who will all undergo a rigorous training program. We've got eight weeks here, so we need to make money over those eight weeks. So we need to think about what is going to drive stocks over that period. If you can predict tomorrow's newspaper, you'll be very rich. Nobody asks you to be awake every night. But if you sleep really well every night, there's probably something wrong. That's the most you'll hear me speak, ever. Okay. <laughs> From Lincolnshire, 34-year-old shopkeeper Amit Jopanputra sees this as an opportunity to get himself a better life. I mean, just walking out, walking out to the street, you know, it's different completely, obviously, you know, instead of selling um, Mars bars and tea bags, you know, I'm probably going to try and sell shares in Vodafone and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's different. I just want to find out more and see if I can cope with it and see if I can understand the subject a bit more. The group have just two weeks to get up to speed and will be trained by leading city experts. There's no right way to trade. There is no rule book. What there is is different people finding what suits them and makes money. They'll cover everything, from generating ideas. Uh, we're interested in uh, trading on the stock Benfield, BFD. Could you give me a To phoning up and placing a trade with a broker. 245 and 3 quarters, 46 and 3 quarters. Uh, quite a thin size at the moment, Simon. From Croydon, Oxford-educated IT engineer Simon Brew is keen to learn as much as possible. His grand plan is eventually to trade from home using his savings and provide a more comfortable retirement for himself and his wife. Well, I'm just hoping you'll make our fortune. Well, <laughs> it won't be our fortune anyway. Uh, the deal no, is no, basically... after you finish. Oh, after. <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm seeing this very much as an alternative I'm not career once, once this is passed by. Yes, well, just don't do a Nick Leeson. Oh. <laughs> The team are also taught how to decipher highly complex technical analysis. Basically what it is, it's a mathematical representation of momentum in the market. As well as essential insights into trading psychology. In all aspects of human activity, there's a tendency towards overconfidence. Once you've understood the rules of the game, the challenge is controlling your temperament. 26-year-old Cleo Folks is an ex-vet who lives near Stourbridge in the Midlands. At the moment, she's working for her dad in the family firm, a 300-year-old engineering and property business. My family has got money, but that is no reflection on me because it's theirs, it's not mine, and that's my opinion to life. I've lived on my £20 a week budget. I know how to budget. Money is a drive for me. I'd be, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't. Soon, they'll be trading with genuine money, and the profits and losses will be real exposing the novice traders to a whole new level of pressure. 45, the prospect doesn't scare Emil Coleman, a 30-year-old fight promoter from Toxteth in Liverpool. But for me, it's about validation. People assume when they look at me, this is me. I'm many different things, and I want to be able to prove that maybe I can be a trader as well. The British Chambers of Commerce says the economy faces a serious risk of recession. Fresh concerns about the health of banks around the world have again undermined share prices. At one point, shares... ...today in the stock market, with the FTSE down over 80 points a short... Day one, Monday morning, 5 a.m. With training over and the credit crisis looming, their lives as traders begin. Entrepreneur and single mum Caroline Taysom is leaving her four-year-old twin girls in the care of her mother to travel from Winchester to the city. I think the skills that I've gained, you know, self-control, stamina, determination, um, real desire for business success, um, are going to work incredibly well within the trading arena. 20 year